example for pass through partition then I notice that the year column has the wrong values it is not 2014 15 16 or the four byte numeric value as it should have been populated and when I verified the output if you notice this source qualifier has 245k records and the target has only 103 so the reason was the product price was connected to year I changed it to the actual part the year attribute now I refresh the mapping I can do it once again okay no changes that's already saved now let me start the workflow okay so the aggregation has happened and it is giving you the 103k records now let me go to the database here and refresh this okay that's all the old data and go to the end I'll also enable the truncate target table option so that we don't have to see the old values and the new values so start workflow okay that's running okay it still has the same number of records because there is an aggregation in place based on product ID but let's check the table that's the table so refresh all right so the data from the years has actually come out now this is the correct data now for us to go further and create an example for pass through partition I'll use this as my source in the next mapping and create the pass through partitions so I'll go to the mappings here create m underscore product sales pass through okay so that's my source and I have created an exact replica of the table and I named it as underscore PT which we can use as target okay you can do a simple one-to-one -one map here without much logic because we just want to see how does the pass through partition work so I'll just use the expression transformation as an anchor and connect it to the target save it that's a valid mapping go to the workflows here workflows create wkf underscore product sales underscore pass through okay tasks create s underscore m underscore product sales underscore pass through create select the respective mapping click ok and done connect fail parent for the partition type pass through what you can do is you can go to partitions here select your source qualifier click on edit partition types and add four partitions and select the default partition type is always pass through that's one of the interview questions so click ok go to transformer tab click on source qualifier and notice you can see the source query and the source filter with partitions split based on the number which is four in this case so in the filter here what I'll do is I'll select year is equal to 2014 for partition 1 and for partition 2 make it 2015 like that you can give the partition key value based on the type you want so that you can parallelize the overall process to create those many number of reader threads I mean in this case we are giving year as 2017 but you can give it as greater than or equal to 2017 all right in case if you have a query based on which you want to split the overall source records which are being read you can use the SQL query okay click apply click OK control s and start workflow let's go to the monitor that's running succeeded right click run properties expand the source qualifier so 2014 has zero records 15 has 101 K records 16 has 2000 17 has nothing and if you go to the target the same number has been loaded there so go to the session log here open it and see the run statistics you'll notice here you have reader 1 reader 2 reader 3 and reader 4 similarly you have transform 1 2 3 4 and all this based on the commit interval you have the total number of records which are created based on your target instances notice these SQL instances has created the filter where product without partitions dot year 17 15 16 and 14 so that's a simple way of using the pass through partitions as is using the source query or the source filter now in this example we have taken year but let's say there is a value for example region 
all data which is belonging to USA should go to partition one. All data belonging to UK should go to partition two. Things like that. So with whatever attribute or business key, you can make that distinction. You can differentiate the values or records which are uniquely split based on that business key. You can have those many number of partitions and you will split that. So that's the simplest way of using the pass through partitions. Think about the round robin partition. So it's like distribution of data at the same time. If there are 10 members, each one get an option. It goes back to zero and then one, two, three, four, five till 10 and then it goes back to zero. So it's a continuous process. But if you have to look at the distribution level, it, it is to equally distribute per instance or per person in general. When it comes to Informatica's round robin partitions, when you use that type of partition, it will also distribute the data into equal chunks. All right. Now, in the example which we have, let's take a situation where the business says that all the product quantity which is less than 10,000 should be filtered out for whatever reasons. Let's say there is a new business process introduced where anything less than 10,000, there is an automatic order and they don't want to see it in the reports. Now, in this example here, what you've done is you've used the pass-through partition to split your data based on year in the source qualifier. Now, your requirement is to add a filter transformation and remove all the data for which the product quantity is less than 10,000. You have an option. This being a database source, you can always add the source qualifier here or your source partition like you've done the pass-through in this case. But just for our example, just for us to see how it works, let's add a filter transformation here and remove all the ones which has product quantity less than 10,000. All right. It's introduced where anything less than 10,000, when you use that type of partition, it will also distribute the data into equal chunks. All right. Now, in the example which we have, let's take a situation where the business says that all the product quantity which is less than 10,000 should be filtered out for whatever reasons. Let's say there is a new business process introduced where anything less than 10,000 there is an automatic order and they don't want to see it in the reports. Now, in this example here, what you've done is you've used the pass-through partition to split your data based on year in the source qualifier. Now, your requirement is to add a filter transformation and remove all the data for which the product quantity is less than 10,000. You have an option. This being a database source you can always add the source qualifier here or your source partition like you've done the pass through in this case but just for our example just for us to see how it works let's add a filter transformation here and remove all the ones which has product quantity less than 10,000 all right so I'll remove these links here get the filter transformation drag and drop all the ports no logic whatsoever as of now from the expression but in the filter transformation here, we'll go to the filter condition and product quantity greater than or equal to 10,000. Now this being a filter transformation, we should give the opposite one, which means whatever matches your criteria, only that will be processed further, which means anything less than 10,000 will be filtered. So you click apply, okay, control S, okay, that's saved. Let's go to the workflow here, refresh mapping, Control S. I'll not add the round robin partition yet just to see the timeline. So I've started it. Okay. Your source qualifier still has that pass through partition defined based on the year. Now notice the start time is 9.56.41. End time is within that same time. Your source data is split properly. You can see the data which is coming in and out of it. But when it goes to the transformation next to it, it is taking longer time because it has to be split here. So in those kind of cases, you can add a round robin transformation here as well for this particular transformation so that it will take the same kind of distribution which is being done by the pass through for this particular transformation. So we'll use the round robin method for the filter transformation. Yes, there are multiple possibilities. You can use 
pass through transformation here as well like i said as this is relational you can use the source filter here itself but just to match our example in this case i'm using round robin partition for the filter transformation all right let's go to the workflow sessions mapping partitions filter transformation add partition point and select round robin okay all right you can leave it as it is or you can give a description like year 2014 15 16 and 17 click ok apply ok Control s and start workflow ok still the same time let me change ok so within a single mapping within the same logic we have added the pass through and we have added the 